Hey CFS Warriors, it's Victoria coming to you from Maui at my favorite spot under this palm tree over here. I would love to come and sit on this grass. And it's just so beautiful today. And I just wanted to share with you why I chose Maui for my health retreat. And it's because I knew that Maui offers so many things that I love. And I knew it would be a big magnet for me to move forward and to reach forward in my recovery. The things that I love doing here are hiking in the rainforest and going up to waterfalls. And I actually did a little bit of that on crutches with my son and husband. And that I had intended to do a lot more of that, but I absolutely adore that. And so getting out and getting amongst the nature and the bamboo and the flowers and just the scent in the air when you're in those forests is amazing. It's like flowers, you know, are in the air. And so the other things, of course, I love to do are snorkeling and getting on the beach and um, looking at the flowers and the birds. But basically, this is my paradise. This is, this is me here, you know? And so I just wanna encourage you in recovery. While you're at home, find whatever it is that will help pull you out of bed, that will help pull you towards those things you love. Now this doesn't mean push yourself, it just means set things around you that will pull you forward, things that you love. You might love the river or you might love the forest or other things in nature might appeal to you. So be sure to watch a lot of that on YouTube or try to get yourself into it near your home. You know, when we're at home, we can find things that will pull us forward that are gonna be different than we're in a place like this. But that's why I chose this as my health retreat because I knew that it would literally pull me out. And um, I love exploring, just driving around the island. Now I've been able to go up to the volcano and drive, and I feel like I know this island like the back of my hand. So I was able to take all these roads that are kind of off, you know, the beaten path. And so it just really satisfies that explorer in me. And so again, it's just so important to put yourself in a mental situation of reaching forward and putting things that you love in front of you is the way to do that. It'll help you move forward. And this retreat has been amazing for me. Another thing about Valley is the mornings and the evenings are so beautiful. So I'm super inspired to get out as early as possible and then also to be at sunset and just to watch the sunset. That's like a spectacular event every night. It's just a real healing place and I just want you to picture your healing place and whatever that may be, you know, and I want you to visualize it. Spend time every day if you can thinking about what it would feel like, what it would sound like, what it would taste like, what it would look like for you to be in your favorite healing place. And I'm going to tell you something that's really strange that happened on this trip that really kind of surprised me is I used to do that visualizing a place where I would go and I called it my little healing studio. My daughter told me it's a mind palace where in a meditation you go and you visualize a place where you can go and just heal and just, you know, I had my books and my journals there, but it was this beautiful, con this beautiful like studio on the beach. And I had this gorgeous view in front of me and the walls were cream and it was just such a soothing place for me. And I would go there just when I needed to get still in my spirit and when I needed to work out something in my emotions or mind. And so the really funny thing is when I showed up here and went to the condo that we rented, it was exactly like my little mind palace. It was all in cream colors and it reminded me of the inside of a seashell and it had that beautiful view. And you know, I just would marvel at that day after day. And the, another neat thing was there were no, hardly any pictures on the wall. Like most of the walls were bare. And for me, that just really worked for me on this trip because I wanted it just clean, nothing to clutter the mind. It was just a place for peace and for healing. So the funny thing is, as we visualize these things, we can act, they can actualize in our lives later. You know, I just wanna encourage you that even if you think, well, I won't be able to afford to go somewhere and do something like that, you know, because I know that CFS is so debilitating. Some people can't work. They're really strapped for cash. 
But the thing is, as you recover, keep that vision in your mind because you never know how it's going to manifest. I know on this island when I lived here, you know, I dreamed of doing all these things. And funny enough, I ended up working for a, a five-star hotel where I could do all the activities for free. I was able to go snorkeling and sunset dinner cruises and windsurfing lessons, everything for free because I was selling, I was representing all of those companies in the hotel. And I didn't even know such a job existed before I came over here. So, you know, I guess what I'm saying is, don't think about all the blocks and obstacles and what you can't do. You know, think about just there's possibility. I love, I think it's Emily Dickinson said, I dwell in possibility. So dwell in possibility. Give yourself that freedom. You deserve that. After all the suffering you've been through, give yourself the freedom to go to the places you want to go to in your mind and trust that they will actualize. I know Norman Vincent Peale, I used to love reading his works he's long gone now but he would say visualize prayerize and actualize so i always put those three keys into my life even when i was back in the day before i moved here i would visualize what i wanted i would pray about it and then i would actualize it so uh, keep that in mind while you're resting while you're recovering to uh, surround yourself with the beauty that you want to embrace in the future just breathing in that beautiful sea air. It's amazing. So just breathing in that beautiful air scented with flowers of Maui. And so I just want to encourage you warriors, keep visualizing, keep your mind palace going, and someday you will see it come to pass. Take care and remember life's not over, it's starting again. And I speak life, health, and wholeness over you.